Now that we have the circle created, we are going to use the pen tool to create the Bezier curves. So first thing we need to do is we need to go to the Pass panel, deselect the circle by clicking in the empty area of the Pass panel, go back over to the Layers panel, turn the visibility off for the circle, turn the visibility on or select the leaf, keep the drawing layer active, okay? Select the pen tool, all right, now we're ready. Now when using the pen tool, remember to go in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction when uh, creating a path or tracing. So I'm going to place my point here and then maybe about midpoint, I'm going to go in a clockwise fashion, stretching the control handles, see, creating the curves as I go, trying to match as closely as possible. Okay. Sometimes uh, you might mess up. With this, you've got to be a little bit more careful. You can select the delete key once, and that will take you back to the last one. If you do it again, you'll just deselect the whole path. I mean, not deselect, you'll delete the whole path. So remember to click this point again, because you got that hat with the line through it. Click it again, there's your control handle, and redraw your path. I'm gonna say here, okay. Now before I let go, I'm going to hold the Alt key and I'm going to change the direction of that control handle this way. Then I'm going to let go of my mouse, which will change it to a cor corner point, let go of the Alt key, and then continue dragging in the clockwise fashion. Okay, Do it again, hold the Alt, move it this way, let go of the cursor, let go of the mouse, and then continue drawing in the clockwise fashion dragging out my handles far or close as I need to. Here we're going to try to make it a nice little curve. I didn't do it. Okay, so select it. Use the control handle. We'll make it a sharp curve then. Okay. Uh -huh. See, that's a nice curve. Uh -huh. As we're going around the circle. So you can see if you can lay these points fast, you could get this done real quick. Okay, here we'll make it sharp, so hold down the Alt key, change it, the direction, release the mouse to corner point, or cusp I guess you would say, and continue drawing up. We'll make this sharp because the other side is sharp. There we go, release the mouse. You notice how the symbol changes to a corner point symbol. Here we go. Let me do one more point here. And you notice if I if I don't use the control handle and I just click the Alt, uh, hold the Alt button down, then it will change to a corner point. Okay, and then I can just draw it that way. I don't need to have the control handle. Uh oh, I messed up. So let me hit delete. And let me click again because I messed up. There's the direction handle. That means and I have that line with the hat in it, so it means I can redraw that point. Let me go back again, select that point again. All the other anchor points are deselected again. Continue drawing. And close the path. And now we're going to turn off the visibility for the leaf. And there's my leaf, just like that. Now let's have some fun with it. Let's go to the path panel. We're going to change the work path. We'll call it leaf, leaf two, because I already have a leaf. Okay. We're gonna load, we're gonna press that button down there. This says load path as a selection. We're gonna go back over to the layers panel. Uh, let's say image, stroke. Let's pick a color, uh, blue I guess, no. Let's try some red. Okay. Control D, and there you have your leaf. Now, if you wanted to correct your leaf, then you would select, um, you would use the white arrow tool. You go over to the path side, select your leaf, and then independently select each one to adjust it. Use your control handles to play around. Select your anchor point to activate the control handles. And then you could adjust it 
to a better or a more perfect leaf to what you desired. And that's it. So you've learned how to use the basics of the pen tool. Now you can explore on your own and trace anything you want, create anything you want with the pen tool. You've learned how to add points, select points, how to change to a corner point, what are control handles, um, how to constrain it to a perfect, um, I guess, square or 45 degree angle. And you've learned how to load it as a selection, how to stroke it, and how to fill it. Great job. And thank you for being a part.